Hi everybody, it's Connelly here. Um, <laughs> oh, and it's Winston. Hi Winston. I am getting ready to leave these dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you all, Winston. I'm gonna, especially I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> okay. Ugh. You'd think that I'd been gone a long time because all these dogs are freaking out, but really I just gone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks, thanks. Um, I just gone to go and get my oil changed. <laughs> so really, I wasn't even gone very long. But I'm getting ready to leave the house right now. I'm going to pack them all up inside. Um, I'm here at my parents' farm, if you guys couldn't tell. I'm not in the city right now. But I'm going to go chanterelle mushroom hunting with my little sister. She's on her way out here from the Portland area. And we're going to go and try and get a little daylight left in. It's, I think it's like 2 o'clock right now which you honestly couldn't tell by the light in the sky. And this here yawning dog. Um, you couldn't tell by the light in the sky, probably, that it's still midday. It looks a little later than that because the cloud cover. But uh, it rained a little bit last night, so that means it's actually gonna be perfect for mushroom hunting, which I'm a little nervous because I haven't gone in a while and I'm worried I'm not gonna be lucky and that I'm not gonna find anything good. Uh, but I will persevere. Like, if I want mushrooms, they will happen, right? Um, and then I also, I just downloaded, oh, my phone's right here. I was about to pull my phone out of my pocket. I just downloaded an app again that I used to use all the time when I lived out here called uh, Fungatron. <laughs> Which, as you may have guessed by the name, has to do with fungus and fungi. So, um... You can use that to actually key out whatever mushrooms you find, which is actually a great app to have on your phone anyways. It kind of takes up a lot of space because it's a large database, but even if you have little kids or something and you find them outside eating a mushroom in the yard and you're terrified it's poisonous, like this is a great app because you can look up based off of different qualities the mushroom has, um, if it has gills or not, if it's slimy, if it's velvety, what it's growing on, what color it is, all these different qualities you can use um, in this app to find out what kind of mushroom it is. And it will narrow it, narrow it down usually to a couple different selections of what it most likely is, uh, which is cool. I know exactly what I'm hunting for today, but when I'm out there, when you start looking for the mushrooms, it's like really exciting. I'll probably actually take a bunch of video for you guys just to show you. Um, when you're out there looking for the mushrooms, you like get tuned into this different space in your head where all of a sudden you see all these things that you normally pass by every day. And you'll see all these different types of mushrooms that you've never seen in your life. And they're always there, I'm sure, but just you don't notice them unless you're actually there looking for mushrooms. And I like to key out and find out what the weird ones are. So, yeah. <laughs> these dogs are so funny. They all huddle together. Makes me laugh because they all look like little, little triplets. Little triplets? You guys want to say hi? Here, I'll show you guys. Easy, who's looking at me and Winston. Hey Winston! Hi! And this is Winston. We got Stella and Lila. Hi Lila. Lila's an old lady. She has like no teeth left. But she's a really good girl. But CZ fancies herself a bit of a ringleader. Huh. Everybody just follows you around. It's your bossy. And Winston is her new best friend. I showed you guys him and I think in a previous video my parents just rescued him. Um, his family was giving him up, which I can't imagine giving you up because you're such a good boy. You're so quiet and goofy. You're a quiet, goofy boy with loads of feelings. <laughs> yeah, he's really well behaved, but somebody gave him up actually, so he was a rescue. He's like, I think he's five. Winston, how old are you? Are you five? <laughs> and him and CZ are just the best of buds. I'm going to feel really bad to separate them just because they enjoy each other's company so much. I don't know. I should focus myself though. I'm rambling on, sitting on the porch when I should be putting these dogs inside, grabbing a bag for mushrooms, doing all that. Hi Lila. Okay, come on dogs. Fast forward a couple minutes and here I am. Um, I have on my rain shell. Um, I really need to get a brighter colored one for this because I feel like white isn't the safest color. Um, mushroom season usually coincides with hunting season for deer. Deer have white butts. So I'm hoping my blue hair will make it fine. And then I also have this neon green that um, is a liner for my bag. So I'll have that showing more so that way it's safer. 
I went and got myself a new pocket knife because uh, I don't know where mine went somewhere in transit it got lost and I grabbed a basket to put the mushrooms in which is currently empty for my little sister so um, when you go out mushroom hunting I think it's really important for safety's sake that you should always make sure you have a partner with you because it can get really disorienting when you're out in the woods circling around and you get so focused that it's really important that you have two minds two minds are better than one um yeah so i don't know i'm gonna head out but i will check in with you guys in a bit salamander what are you doing he's like oh shit it's a human shit 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 what do i do ah help i'm a salamander let me see if he'll let me take a photo. So I'm back from mushroom hunting and unfortunately I didn't find what I was looking for today. I knew that I was running some risk of not finding what I was looking for just because the weather is still a little bit... It's been a weird year. I mean, it's been hot everywhere I feel like this year, but it's been um, unseasonably warm for this time of the year in the Northwest. And... Usually by now, we'll have already had our first frost, so to speak, at least in high elevation. So that's one of the first things that you look for is the combination of rain and the first frost for chanterelles. And unfortunately, that had not happened yet, and I was hoping that I'd just get lucky and find something, but it didn't happen. Um, so me and Hannah went up, and we got some time in the forest. I probably still have, like, pine needles in my hair. I tried to get them all out. <laughs> But um, we ended up just going up to this kind of mountain-ish town and logging country. It's actually um, where a lot of that show Axemen, it's like one of those TLC shows, is filmed. Um, a place called Vernonia, Oregon. And there's a little ladybug dying on this piece of paper. There you are, buddy. Don't die. Don't die. Sorry. I'm like talking to this. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I just got completely distracted. There's this ladybug on this piece of paper in front of me, and he's just, like, experiencing death. I feel bad for him. You can tell he's, like, on his last legs. And he was on his back, so I flipped him over, so at least he's, like... It's one thing if you have to die. It's another thing if you have to die on your back and you can't flip over. That probably sucks, I think. But, uh... Oh, I was saying, Vernonia. I always joke that all roads lead to this place called Vernonia. At least if you're in the Willamette Valley. Because you can be down pretty far south and you'll see signs for Vernonia. It's just this random place you see signs for. And there's really not much going on there. It's just a logging town. But I like to go there and have lunch sometimes. And it's right near where I go mushroom hunting. So I went up there and I had myself a, a Swiss dip sandwich. Which I think is just a French dip but with cheese on it. And it was delicious. And my little sister had a beer. And we sat up there for a while. We really tried to find mushrooms. We went out for probably like three, four hours um, at various points hiking around through the brush and seeing if we could find anything. And we found other varieties of mushrooms, but just not what I was looking for. So I'm a little disappointed, but whatever. It is what it is. I'll go out again later and see if I'm lucky. Uh, tomorrow I'm excited though because I'm doing a different kind of hunting, <laughs> which is funny. I've told you guys I'm not necessarily the biggest shopper per se, but I am a really big bargain hunter. Um, this is my sweater, actually, I got from the Last Chance Rack in um, in Phoenix last week. And tomorrow, I'm really excited because I got passes for the Nike Employee Store. Ah! I'm super excited. Um, I've never gotten to go uh, to the Employee Store for Nike. I don't think I've been to the Adidas. I've been to the Columbia one. Maybe I've been to Nike. I don't think I've been to the Nike one, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but I'm really excited because it's hard to get passes for it, actually. Like, they register you by name, and you have to show an ID to show that you're allowed to go there. And I'm really excited about it because a friend of mine posted online that uh, he had gotten some military-grade boots there. And for those of you who are military spouses, you may or may not know that aside from the regular stuff you can get at the uniform store um, for free and for little charge, there's also, like, Nike, Under Armour, companies like that make things like shoes and various things that are approved to be part of uniform, um, but they just tend to be really expensive, all kinds of different backpacks and boots and 
all sorts of stuff. And my husband, by chance, had been talking a while back about ordering new boots. And he's like, yeah, I tried to order these Nike ones, but they said we're not allowed to because they're super expensive. I think the SEALs get them because um, he he was working on a squadron at the time that was kind of doing like SEAL support sort of stuff. And he's like, they'd always get the cool stuff and I want the cool stuff too. And so at that point, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't really know about army boots, but have a nice life with that. And my friend posted, he's like, yeah, I got these uh, military grade army boots that I use for my security job at the Nike employee store. And I'm so excited about it. And I was like, wait a minute, what color are they? And he's like, uh, they're black. And I was like, they're black. Cause in his new squadron, he's going to be wearing the blue uniform. Um, and you have to wear black boots with it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to see if they're boots that he can wear for his uniform and put them away for his birthday as a nice surprise. Cause I know that even though it's a work thing, he would sincerely be excited to have some nice Nike boots that he could wear for work. So fingers crossed they still have them. It's been a couple weeks since then, but in the state of Oregon, there are no military bases. So it's safe to say they're probably not flying off the shelves. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe they're flying off the shelves, but I'm going to be shocked if they're flying off the shelves and I'm hoping they still have them. In addition to that, my husband has unnecessarily large feet. He wears like a size 13. So finding <coughs> shoes for him is, hi dog. It's my mom's dog. She gets really enthusiastic about things and lets out like these little peppy barks when she wants to play, which means my time is almost up. Come here, Lila. Come here, dork. <laughs> but yeah, so he wears like a size 13 in uh, his boots and I'm hopefully going to find him a pair at the employee store or maybe just some new running shoes or something or I don't know, anything. His birthday is right around Thanksgiving, so I try and pigeonhole things away. I like put them away for his birthday and for Christmas and stuff. We'll see how it goes, but I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. I'm super sad about my mushroom hunt being a failure, but I know that one of these days soon, I'm gonna make a video for you and I'm gonna be in the forest and I'm gonna hit the jackpot and I'm gonna find everything that I'm looking for and I'll show you guys and you're gonna love it. And you'll be like, I wanna go mushroom hunting too, cause it is fun, but it's just frustrating when you don't find what you're looking for cause nature's like that, but don't let it get you down. Okay? Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.